This video shows how to make soy yogurt from soybeans. Basically, I use a, a full cup. You put the cup measure in the bowl where you're going to hydrate it. You don't spill them. And you have your soybeans. And then you go and fill it up with water. Fully hydrated, fully hydrated soybeans. Drain those. And then I want to make one quart from this, from these soybeans, these hydrated soybeans. So and just pour it into a one quart container, plastic container. Try not to use any metal in the process to minimize any metallic flavoring. Then simply fill this up with water, fill it up to a full quart. And then simply pour it into a ceramic lined Instapot container. Plug it in. Seal it. Go for 30 minutes. I'm going to go for 30 minutes on pressure uh, and then let it cool down to the Normal, normal pressure release. Don't try to accelerate the pressure release. That's it. So now we have the bit of beans, um, yeah, soybeans yeah, cooked. Now we're just going to remove the soybeans from the yeah, Instapot yeah, so and I, I pour it into a cooling pan. So that it will cool at just cool down in at room to room temperature. And that will be for now. And we'll just let it cool, put a little lid on it, and let it wait. This is continuation of the making a Soybean based yogurt using whole soybeans instead of a soy milk. This gets you all of the, this gets you all of the um, nutrition of the soybean, including all of the fiber. The only thing you have to add is a little bit of, uh, I add a little bit of brown sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit to make it more like a yogurt. And then I will add, uh, in a few seconds, I'll add the probiotics. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to blend it up. destroy those little probiotics um, things so I'm going to just barely turn it on. just mixes it up just a little bit now we have the probiotics mixed in there blended in now just put it into a quart container since we measured it out with the with the beans and the water, we have exactly one quart, <clears throat> which fits it perfectly into the one quart container. And as you see, it's nice and thick already, and the probiotic will make it a little bit 
more um, tangy. So it'll be a regular kind of a, a regular thick, although very thick, um, soy yogurt. That's it. Now I'm just going to loosely cap it, put it into a oven with a pilot light in the back that is about 105 degrees and leave it for 24 hours. And this is the very next day. Uh, my soybean based yogurt and show you what it looks like. It is very, very thick. So thick that um, it's so high in protein that uh, it's, it's very thick, very luscious, and very tasty. That's what I use for the rest of my yogurt for the rest of the week.